Good morning, everybody. Let's get ready together. So today we're doing a really cute pink look. And I already put my sunscreen off camera. You guys already know. And look, guys. So this is the Hello Kitty and Vera Bradley collection. This is actually their makeup bag. So I'm going to put it on display here because my camera is a little bit lower today. Excuse the mess I'm outside. That doesn't exist. <laughs> but I'm going to put it right here next to my little cinema roll for the video. And I already took everything out. Of that one and then i also have this hello kitty cram shop bag that i mainly have most of my stuff but without further ado let's get ready together okay so my sunscreen has already been set so now let's prime our eyes um so this is the essence prime like boss eyeshadow base i really like this so a little update from the last get ready with me video i love this this works super well with and without a primer brush and it goes on clear there is some white tint because that's my sunscreen because I do go in with my mineral sunscreen it feels like a silicone primer so I'm actually gonna take it down into my under eye and we're gonna see how this lasts super super excited about that so once again, there's going to be a lot of cuts just to save space on my phone. So uh, before we do a cut, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Prime. I kind of want to double prime and then use my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer in different areas. Or I kind of want to put this as a base and then go in with this. I don't know. Should we do it? I feel like we should. Why not? So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Power Grip. And I'm basically going to take it like right here because this is where my problem area is. Because it always just comes off right there. Basically just the T-zone. And we are going to let that set just a little bit. And then we are going to go in with the Master Prime. And I'm just going to let those sit a little bit. And we'll be right back to Prime once again. So I've basically I've let those two primers set. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Master Prime primer base and I'm just gonna apply it here where my pores area is, which is mainly just like right here. And I'm just gonna take what's lover left over because it is very silicone-y. I feel like you can take whatever is left over. And I feel like it just doesn't set. And that can be a good thing or a bad thing because then I feel like it's slidey. But hopefully with the grip from the elf primer it'll like grasp onto it so let's be in our eyeshadow we actually have a lot of eyeshadow options today so i'm wearing this super cute pink shirt and then a skirt it is really cold right now but then in the afternoon it is hot so we have become we are now at that time of the year not my favorite but we have a lot of stuff to go in with today. So these are actually Later's products. But for eyeshadow options, let me move some stuff out of the way. We have a ton of options today. And let me get this one. Lots of options. So let's do a quick rundown. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Rose Quartz Palette. W7 Bare It All, Revolution Ultimate Nudes, this Clinique Shimmer Palette, super old, but I really want to use it. Um, Wet n Wild Always Blushing, Morphe Coca Cola, Profusion Pastel, C Color Whimsical, Profusion Euphoric Glam, and Profusion Kaleidoscope. So, all of these palettes offer different things for me. So I'm just going to quickly separate these by what I kind of want to use them for. Okay, so these are mainly like base shade palettes for me. So I don't really know what to do. I kind of want to do like a darker base. 
Give me a second to quickly think because I do not want to run a space. So, un momento. I'm going to be honest, I can't really decide. So we're just going to go with what I'm feeling like. Media, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Medium Shadow Brush and I'm going to go in with the Morphe Gold Cola and I'm going to take the shade. What is the shade? Yum yum. It's this peachy. Can you guys see it? No, oh, that's the mirror. <laughs> the peachy shade. Because it has some peach. I'm going to use this as a base color. And if it's too dark, then we can just always go in with a lighter color on top of it. You guys already know my favorite cream shadow technique. Oh, and I have my Hello Kitty Creme Shop mirror for the sake of Hello Kitty. So instead of my cream shadow technique, I think I'm going to take like different hues of this type of shade. I'm going to change it up because this is looking more salmony and bricky. So. so now I'm going to take the clean side of the brush that we just used and I'm going to take the Revolution Ultimate Nudes. And I'm going to take this top pinky shade and I'm just going to go right on top of that shadow that we just applied. Okay, so I feel like that did nothing but made it almost the same. So I think we are going to have to go in with either a super light pinky pastel or we're going to have to do our cream shadow. And we're going to have to apply a lot of cream shadow because it's not looking the way that it's supposed to be looking. So that's fun. So now to lighten this all up, because this is looking more of a brickish red. It's kind of matching my sweater more than it's matching my top. Yeah, that's not matching my top. I do not like that. So I'm going to take the Perfusion Euphoric Glam and I'm going to go in with the shade Navigate. It's this really cool tone, milky pink. Super, super beautiful. And I'm taking it on the BH. It's one of those sprinkle brushes. It does not have a number that I can see. So I'm just going to really pack that on the brush and I'm just going to apply it all over our shadow okay see how quickly that changed it compared to this eye see how much it changed it this is what I wanted so mainly just going to focus this on the top portion of my eye because I feel like that's where you really see that gradient but now I'm going to try and focus it on the bottom so that the bottom also is cohesive so it's looking a little bit more of a smoky eye which is not bad so okay so now it's time to apply our shimmer and I cannot decide so I have the Kaleidos palette and I was thinking of using this shade I feel like that would be super pretty it's the shade Echoes that's so pretty I feel like that matches my shirt then I have the Wet n Wild Always Blushing, and I wanted to use this really pretty pink. It's very glittery. It's not really picking up on camera, but it's so pretty. And then this one is going to be for the under eyes, so I'll show you guys that later. And then this is the W7. I wanted to go... Oh, this one was also for the under eye. I'll show you guys that later. And then this is the Wet n Wild Rose Quartz. I was thinking of using these two shades. This one as a base, and then this one as the top portion shimmer. This one does match it, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I cannot decide. I feel like the Kaleidoscope one is really a lot darker. And I want a really soft and delicate look. Like that's the concept I'm going for for today. So if this is no, great, we are making decisions. So... I feel like this one is really, really glittery and I kind of need a base. So I think I'm going to take the Rose Quartz palette and I'm going to take this on a Real Techniques flat brush and I'm going to go in with this base shade. See, it's very light. It's a very dull shimmer, but that's what I love when you're going to go in with very, very glittery shades. So then you do have a base. So I'm just taking that really on the front of the lid. 
my Hello Kitty mirror is kind of big. I feel like it's like blocking it. So I'm just gonna apply that shade and then we're gonna go in with the glitter shade. This came out really, really pretty in person. It's not really picking up on camera because I feel like it's the light and then it's still kind of dark in this room, but it's looking really, really pretty in the mirror. But we are going to, I kind of want to leave it like this, but I love glitter. You guys know I love glitter. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Always Blushing and I'm going to take the, the side that we just applied that shimmer shade and I'm going to go in with this glittery shade. I'm trying to see if it picks up on camera. It's such a gorgeous shade. Me on the brush. Do you see that? There's a lot of sparkles in it. It's very, very glittery. The formula for that is beautiful. So I'm just going to tap because it is very, very glittery. And from what I remember of using this palette, the glitters will fall. Like you can get a lot of fall out of this. But honestly, it's worth it. I need Wet n Wild to come out with a full palette with just that shade. Like those type of formula. This is turning very, very stunning. Okay, so I low-key kind of made a cut crease. So that's really fun. This camera is not doing it justice, but it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Beautiful. We might go in with glitter. Maybe not. Let me pack this in a little bit more. I kind of want to add some depth, but I feel like because we technically made a smoky shadow, so the bottom already has the darkest shade, it kind of already has depth for me, so. Let's do our liner instead. I feel like it looks really, really good. Especially when I'm looking at you, you can see that depth from that smoky shadow that we did. By accident, but we did it. So let's go with liner instead. So I only have this pink brush, so it's gonna be our liner and brow brush. So I'm gonna take the Always Blushing palette and I'm going to go in with this brown shade. I'm going to slightly mix it with this black. It has a bit of glitter in the lot. So it's going to deepen up that brown. This is from Dollar Tree. It's pretty thick too. So let's see if we do not mess up our wing. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. So now that our primer has basically set, I'm going to take my Maybelline foundation and I'm going to take it on a flat brush, my Luxie flat brush. And I'm just going to start applying it very lightly all over the base. I'm really excited to see how this foundation wears today. And I'm applying a little bit more, so hopefully the shade range is not that bad. So, I think this does oxidize. Not a lot on me, but it does. The thing that sucks though is that I do have a morning lecture, so it oxidizes until like later, I feel like. So I'm going to be looking like this in my first lecture. And then by the afternoon, it seems like it's going to be my shade. So that's kind of a downside. But it blends really nicely. I feel like you can really see my skin peek through my um, foundation today for some reason. So it doesn't seem like it's fuller coverage. I also haven't used it with the sponge. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. my concealer in sand. And I'm apply a bit on my mouth. Because you know I'm a little bit. have like more of a bluish grayish hue here. And I really want to cover that up. Because I just I don't like it. And I'm going to take a little bit on to clean up the eye. Yeah, I feel like my skin is really peeking through today. Like, you guys see that? I feel like that's actually picking up on camera. Hmm. So that's a little odd. I, I did notice this because I remember my scar wasn't fully covered up. So I don't know how to feel about this coverage-wise. Which kind of sucks though, because I wanted a matte foundation, but one with fuller coverage. But, we will see. 
And now I'm just gonna blend that concealer using my clean side of my flat brush really, really lightly. Making sure that the liner is cleaned up. And then I have like some awkward spacing and color right here. So I'm gonna lightly take the brush, trying not to move the shadow that's there. Just apply and blend it out a bit. That's what I noticed the other day that I just, with this foundation, little awkward spacing, like you can really, really see it. So that's my little tip of the day. I'm already running late, but I need to hurry up because I'm actually running late. So this is a Profusion Blush Hour in Rose A. Just taking it. I feel like it's a little too rosy. Should have gone in with the cool tone brush. But I didn't think I packed a cool tone blush. So we need to figure that out. So now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild contour brush or angled brush and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to take it slightly over here as well to give more of a cutesy look. Very minimal though. Mainly focusing the product and color over here. I can't get over how glittery the shadow is. It's so gorgeous. And I hate that it's not picking up on camera. But really, like, if you love glittery shadows like I do, you need this palette. Honestly, it's so worth it just for that shade. I love this palette, though. It does not look loved, but it's loved. Um, So I'm going to apply some powder as well. This is the BH1 brush. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. I have pink brushes for today. If you guys haven't noticed just in case so I'm gonna take this and I kind of want to brighten up but I'm a little scared that the foundation is already like looking a little too light because this is lighting that's different than the outside the sun is starting to come out but mm. so I'm gonna take my Maybelline fit me this is a really big brush I kind of want to use this another day for foundation so I'm just gonna apply this evenly so I'm just gonna Make sure it's applied evenly. And I'm going to first really push it in into my under eye. And then try to push it in into my pores right here. So I'm going to take my, my Fit Me powder. I'm just going to apply it on top of where I applied that pressed powder. Really settle it in where I crease, which is mainly the under eye. I actually really like this brush because then you can like really get it into the under eye without having it be uncomfortable. And it doesn't hit my eye. I feel like it looks like it hit, I'm hitting my eye, but it's really not. Like obviously it's like there, but that's so nice. I'm going to apply some on my mouth right here. Because this is where I'm getting like super oily and it just looks really... I don't like it. I don't like how it looks when it's like really oily there. So before we go in with our blush, I'm going to start doing my base lip color. The e.l.f. pinkies up. And then we're going to go in with our blush. So now I didn't pack a pot. So I didn't pack a blush brush, so I'm just going to take the same one that we used for our clean blush. Wait, so I'm going to take the Wet n Wild blush and I'm going to go in with my BH blush palette. And I'm going to take the shade that I always go in with. And I'm going to lightly set it because I don't have a more cooler tone blush pack today. Because I thought this look was going to be a little bit more brighter. So I'm just going to lightly take that. And I don't like this brush is a little too big to fit into the eyeshadows that we use so I can't really use that as a blush so so I actually forgot that I packed this Doja Cat blush in the shade Peony it's this blush trio and I'm gonna take just a little bit because I believe these are pigmented so I'm gonna take two little dabs looks like there is some pigment there and I'm just gonna apply it towards the edge just to give a bit more depth gave the slightest bit of depth 
because I do not want to go overboard because these are really pigmented I have used the yellow and it's palette before and it is really really pigmented that's really pretty mm. the blush is a lot brighter than the rest of the face so just to make sure that it's like blended and there's no awkward spacing I'm gonna go over with the blush to see if it can like slightly cool it I brought down a little bit, but hmm. that's good enough. I'm already late. I literally got like 10 minutes and I'm not even fully done. So taking my Abruz, my Muse brow powder, I'm just going to quickly do the brows. Oh, I think I put brow powder on my shadow. That's great. I am late, 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 late. When am I not late? Oh, these brows are not it. These are not it. No, no, no. It's fine. I have bangs. Okay, so I'm going to quickly put some highlight on. Just going to apply a little bit. This seems. And then apply some here. So I'm actually going to take the pinky one too. And just going to lightly pat it in around so that we just get the lightest pink hue when we move around in the sun so for lips we kind of have a bit of options so i wanted to start off with the milani 17 plum rose the lip the, the lipstick and then i have bare minerals pop of passion it's a look of tinted lip balm super old i don't think they make these anymore uh, Profusion's Crystal Lip Gloss. I want to use this as a lip topper right towards the center. And then, if not that one, I wanted to go in with this Milani Rose Lip Oil. They do not make these anymore. I've had this since my sophomore year of high school. It's been a moment. It still smells good. It's so good. I really want to try a Milani Lip Oil. Because I got this at TG Maxx for like $1.99. I don't know if they make these anymore. I'm going to be so sad if the formula is nothing like this. But it's so good. I'm almost done with it. I don't think I ever uploaded my project pan video, but this was supposed to be my project pan and I still have not finished it, so I've not used it. I have not used it at all. Even during my makeup route, which is weird because I feel like lip oils is something you would use. But yeah. Okay, we need to hurry up because I literally got like five minutes to get it done. So I think I'm actually going to take the plum rose one first and I'm going to take it towards the center because we do have that. So the glosses basically have been faded from the e.l.f. lip tint, so now it's just the color. So I'm going to take it into the center of my lips. Oh, that's pretty. That created a really nice gradient. Do you guys see the gradient? That's so pretty. I'm just going to lightly blend it out with 